Today, we're at the Devil's Mill Hopper in Gainesville, Florida. We will journey down into an ancient 120-foot sink hole. Join me if you dare. <laughs> This is a Florida State Park, so a park entrance fee is required. I'll be paying $4 for my vehicle. Not bad for our little adventure. We first come to the interpretive complex. Here we learn details about how the Devil's Mill Hopper was created. Florida's land surface lies on a limestone foundation. Sometimes rainwater which passes through the decaying plant matter on the ground forms a weak acid. Over a period of time, this weak acid can cause the limestone to start to dissolve. This causes underground cavities which can progress into large underground caverns. Then one day, the weight of the surface above gives way, producing these massive sink holes. Are we gonna see a waterfall? The early residents of this area compared the look of the sinkhole to the shape of a gristmill's hopper. Since it was being compared to a funnel in the depths of the earth, they decided to call it the Devil's Mill Hopper. Our adventure begins. There is a staircase that leads down to the bottom of the sinkhole, but we'll save that till after we finish exploring the trails. I would assume that over there is the sinkhole. It's a big drop off and I can hear some water running, so maybe we get to see some waterfalls. The weather here in Gainesville is absolutely perfect. It's just right. It's not too hot, obviously not too cold. Looks like there's a trail that leads somewhere. Should I take it? I better not. So why is it important to stay on the designated paths? Before the Devil's Mill Hopper became a state park, it was common for people to venture down into the sinkhole. There were even weddings performed at the base. 
This foot traffic caused some of the plant life to start to disappear. When it rained, these areas began to erode. In 1974, this magnificent place was purchased by the state and became protected by the Florida Park Service. Now, the sinkhole's ecological rainforest is allowed to flourish and help protect it from erosion. So staying on the designated walking paths will allow many generations to enjoy this great Florida natural wonder. The bridge is closed. The trail normally would have allowed you to hike around the perimeter of the sinkhole, but damages left behind by Hurricane Irma in 2017 changed that, at least for now. A leisurely walk from the path direction sign to here should take you about 20 minutes. I will have to backtrack the path back to the direction sign because of the closed bridge, but I will walk at a more brisk pace. That took about 10 minutes. So right where the paths separate, you can appreciate the depth of this sinkhole. I can hear the sound of falling water. Stagecoach tours, scientific explorations, and weddings, they all happen here at this sinkhole. Since the 1800s, this has been a well-visited Florida attraction. Now we will take the left trail, which also leads to the sinkhole access. There's a glimpse of the staircase that leads down into hell. I mean, down into the devil's mill hopper. We'll save the staircase for last. We have one last part of the trail to explore before we start our descension. Now we have arrived at the other side of the closed bridge. That moderate walk took about three minutes. Now it's time to head back to the sinkhole's staircase.
On the railings are information placards. They tell of Deer Run, the mill hopper's deepest ravine with its cascading stream. They also tell how the unique conditions of this sinkhole created its own rainforest environment. Also how the sinkhole, like every living thing, has its own seasons of change. And finally, how fossils of marine life and the discovery of shark teeth verified that this part of Florida was once under the sea. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I release my next video. Signing off from the Millhopper Sinkhole in Gainesville, Florida. <laughs>